to look like in the future. And now we are going to release the second, uh, we are going to release Mixed Alpha, our second concept cell phone. And uh, when we were doing promotion on Weibo, we put up a picture. It looks like this. Do you know what it feels like to light it up? Okay. Here's is what it looks like from the front. And now, once again, let's light it up. Do you want to look at it from the behind? A lot of the internet users have uh, tapped into their ingenuity and come with some very interesting renderings. And here it uh, is what it looks like in reality. I'm sure none of you have seen anything like this before. So, Mix Alpha is not a affordable screen. It does not come with a wonderful display, but it represents the future. What the cell phone looks like in the future. So, when we place the three sides together and uh, when we light it up, it looks like this. Magnificent, isn't it? In fact, it comes with one screen that wraps around the entire cell phone from the front to the side and all the way to the back. If we have to calculate the screen to body ratio, then it is as high as 180 percent. So a screen like this is called by my colleagues fondly as surround display. 360. Heartwarming, isn't it? And our marketing department also prepared a video that uh, describes to you the features of this uh, surround display. So let's take a look. Isn't it fascinating? And this cell phone model feels like a door to the future in a dark world. It feels like it feels like a spacecraft that is to set its course into the space but now is parked in the dark valley. It looks like a magical cube that captures the wonders of the universe in an airy desert. It's all because it glows throughout its body. It looks almost futuristic. So as you can imagine, we have invested a lot in its development. And so have we invest a lot in developing its promotional video. So let's take a look. Let's take a look. A world of infinite possibilities. Where will your next adventure take you? Perhaps you find yourself taking your own path. You choose this path not because it will lead somewhere, for the feeling of excitement, uncertainty, exploration. Challenge the impossible to make the future possible.
Introducing Mi Mix Alpha, surround display 5G concept smartphone. Delivering a true bezel-less experience with its 4D surrounding curved display. Explore a future without limits. Mi Mix Alpha, surround display 5G concept smartphone. show you what it looks like in reality. Okay, let me unlock it. Okay, uh, this side is back. On the side, astonishing, isn't it? Amazing. And, and a whole screen wrapping around the entire cell phone. We believe this is the future of cell phone. What cell phone looks like in the future. I'll turn to this side if you want to take any photos. Okay on his back. Thank you. Oh, oh, okay, to this side. And his back. The back side. In a few moments, you see this in the demonstration zone outside this hall. So for something this cool, it's made reality because of a lot of uh, technologies of which the most the difficult one is surround display. Technically speaking, this is a flexible full screen that is doubly folded, but if we want the duck to make a flexible screen into this double double sided folded structure, it's enormously difficult and not just that we will have to overcome a lot of other technical difficulties. I am talking about it's a, a sounding order, uh, display layer, screen lamination. I don't really want to turn it into a tech um, lecture, but let me just walk you through with the basics. Uh, there are there are two uh, producers that claim to have developed uh, a screen like this. The announcement was made at the beginning of this year, but uh, has not been put into mass production. But the surround displays even much more complicated and sophisticated. In order to have such a surround display, we need to make a more extreme exploration of full screen apart from surround effect. We also need to solve other problems such as the top and the bottom uh, side parts of the display and also the um, earpiece and the speaker. And about two years ago, we used this uh, vibration model for it, but this time uh, we chose a new technology that is called this in-display sound system. And also the sound effect is perfect. It's, uh, we use this new vibration units to put it on the display, so the, vib the quality of the sound is improved a lot. And also, we use this in-display sound technology to produce ultrasonic wave to detect the range and the distance. And also, the bottom bezel is 2.15 millimeter. It is almost invisible. 
and the most difficult thing for it is antenna. On the surround display, there is no side frame. Um, in the previous mobile phones, we can find the side frames, and this time we don't have the side frames. There is a chamber for the antenna. We put all the antennas on this side and we adopted this LCP integrated antenna designing. It is able to integrate five uh, major frequency bands for 5G. It is very challenging and also with a smaller chamber for antenna, we need to redesign the pack way of packaging for the ordinary um, smartphones, there is uh, this drive processor, and for the full screen, we put this drive processor at the bottom of this, um, at the bottom of this um, bezel, but this time, we put it here, and also the side buttons. All the buttons are shown on the display, and also there are pressure-sensitive displays on the two sides. And we put buttons on the two sides. It provides a very good haptic experience. And how about front camera? Another issue. Actually, in the full-screen technology, the most difficult thing is how to solve the front camera issue. The four major formats of full screen technologies are the pop pop full screen, the uh, waterfall full screen. But the, all these solutions are not perfect. And at this time, the surround display solved this issue this way. Do we use the in display camera or pop up camera? Which way? To be honest, if you know surround display very well, actually you, you will not ask this question. You can just turn it over or turn it around. You can use the camera on the back as a front camera. So we don't need, actually we do not need front camera at all. So many mobile phone makers are using the in-display, in-screen um, camera, and Xiaomi has also been working on it. We are ex expecting to have a technological breakthrough, but when it comes to surround display, we don't have to use such a complicated technology. You can just uh, turn it around. So Mix Alpha is based on a series of technological explorations, all listed here. I will not elaborate on them. With this fan fantastic surround display, how about the interactive interactive experience. We really have to invest a lot on that. And it uh, works perfectly with MIUI 11, with graceful font and the great haptic feedback, just like the physical buttons. And also, uh, when it comes to surround display, how, what kind of synergy will MIUI 11 and um, Mix Alpha create? Let's look at the notification message. The whole side is light, lightened up. And also, when it is charged, it looks like this. Fascinating, isn't it? Because it is all display. And also, when you play games, you can't imagine how impressive it is. And also, when you are reading, you have content on the front, and information and remain remainders on the two sides. And also, when you turn the display around, the back side will turn into a display. And also on the back, we have this interface. It will show the um, applications we usually use. For instance, when you want to find a taxi, or you want to take the high-speed train, you can find all these services on the back. And we have a video showing how you what kind of experience you can get. Let's take a look.
image. How about the photosensitive component? We use this 1.33 inch ultra large photosensitive component. It is several times larger than the ordinary components, and compared to the flagship smartphones of other mobile phone makers, it is thousands times bigger. So just imagine how fantastic the image taken by the camera is. For instance, uh, for the P30 Pro, the image of the camera is based on this 1.7 inch photo sens sensitive component. But for Mix Alpha, this sensor is much bigger. To give you a more straightforward comparison, this is the mainstream module used on the flagship smartphones. The uh, module for 8448MP uh, camera. So, how does the 108MP module look like? It is four times larger in size. So, how to put it, incorporate in the smartphone? That will be a challenge for the stacking. Let's look at the front side. The camera is this big. Apart from this 1.33 inch module and output pictures with 100 million pixel, and the macro pixel count is 1.6 millimeter. Also, it has this. Uh, anti-vibration function, also SOCL Plus and the Smart ISO. So this camera is supported by the series of technologies. Let's look at a clip about some photos about uh, taken by the camera. This is a picture we have posted on Weibo, an image of a model. We will enlarge it twice and four times. Eight times. If you look at, you can see every single piece of the eyelash of the model. Well, I know that you are not giving a big enough applaud because it is not fantastic enough. And also, the hair, body hair. And more importantly, the makeup on the face is shown clearly. I was joked that not many people would tolerate uh, their own face on this 108 million pixel camera. So this is what this camera with 108 million pixel is capable of. So many details. In order to demonstrate the charm of the camera, we work together with Discovery to initiate the plan for to, um, the finding the beauty of the world with this camera. Our photographers went to some beautiful places. Can you guess where it is? It is Hongchun village in Anhui province. It is known as its picture known for its picturesque sceneries. This is what it looked like at seven or eight o'clock a.m. The villagers are taking water from the lake, and there are some travelers here. The gentleman there was taking the camera, and the uh, lady was in the red dress, and started their day. And let's go this way. There's a wooden door with the couplet, uh, antithetical coupling, which is a traditional, uh, which is a Chinese tradition. And uh, further down the street, there are two households. And uh, right in front of the door, there is, there are people fishing. It looks like a painting, but once you zoom out, you'd realize it all happens within one photo.
take me by this camera on 108 MP. So, as you can imagine, with this camera, you can can you imagine how many details you can capture with it? Our cameraman went to Xinjiang Autonomous Region and he took a photo of a local farmer who was harvesting his crops. And as you can see in this picture, the look in his eyes, all the wrinkles, the texture of the skin, and when you zoom out, you see his posture right by the field, like his millions of Chinese, he's working hard in order for there to be a good harvest in autumn. Our photographer also went on a trip to Mount Longshan, and it was truly breathtaking misty, mountainous, with a lot of greeneries. Our photographer also paid a visit to metropolitan cities such as Shanghai, and this is the bond, and this is in Guangzhou, the center of the city, with all the high rising skyscrapers, and this is what it looks like when the night falls all the glimmers, all the neon signs, truly beautiful. So as you can see, the photographer of ours, they went to many places and when I looked at their works, I couldn't help but think, this is such a wonderful world and there is uh, so many beautiful sceneries to see and with this Asada photo album I wish for the greater prosperity of China. As a concept of cell phone, also a flagship project, it comes with a 108MP high resolution camera, but apart from that, it also comes with a 20MP wide angle camera with also great attention to details because when you zoom in it can um, capture the details in 1.5 centimeter and apart from that there is also a third camera which is uh, uh, specifically designed for he taking pictures of people. It's a uh, 12 MP but of course it pales compared to the 108 MP high resolution camera and we also explored a lot of possibilities to improve the materials um, because we want to make it uh, very good. So we first uh, tried out uh, titanium alloy. Um, the frame, this time around, we, we, we use the titanium frick, both on the upper and the lower side of the edge. Uh, titanium is uh, first was first used for the aerospace industry because it's very strong and also very light. It's uh, When it comes to a weight to strength ratio, it's um, three times uh, compared to stainless steel, making it both light and strong. And on the back of uh, this device, we also use the precision uh, ceramic, uh, which comes in black. So the bar you can see there, it's made of a black precision ceramic. And also because we will have to put in there three cameras, we will have to put a protective uh, layer on top of it. It is made of uh, sapphire gloss. So this time around, when when we strived to develop a mixed alpha, we used a lot of materials that are very very expensive. I am talking about a titanium alloy. I'm talking about the precision ceramic and also sapphire glass. But uh, when it comes to its uh, configuration, I'm not even go into details because this is the truly the state of the art. Do you want me to elaborate? I don't think I want to do that. So, this project was first uh, initiated about uh, two years ago, and uh, through it all, it took us uh, over a thousand people and uh, 500 million RMB to make it a success. Overall, we explored uh, three major areas. The first is the surround sound display, the second is the 100 uh, MP uh, pixel count, and the third is 
the material which is best represented by titanium alloy. So you may want to know why do we want to do this? Well, because we are explorers at a mix. When I say explorer, I mean someone with an appetite to chart on water, uh, to to go on uncharted journey, go uh, someone that's willing to go on a journey that no one has been there before, a, a long and a winding road that is. Um, filled with peril, but because that is the only way to push the boundary of technology, and that is also the only way to push for technological progress. Um, when we were doing this, we didn't really think about uh, profitability. Rather, we would like to create something disruptive, and as such is the spirit of Xiaomi, best represented by our engineers, uh, each of whom aspires to develop something different, uh, each of whom wants to live a great life. Xiaomi is home to a large team of uh, great engineers. They work hard, uh, very much like the farmer that I just uh, showed you in Xinjiang Autonomous Region. They work very hard uh, just for that moment of harvest in autumn. So I think uh, that is the ethos of uh, engineers at a mix. And I think this is also why we started this journey to begin with. Like so many other high-tech companies, we aspire to build something big. And once we know what it is that we want, we'd work very hard, no matter how difficult the journey is, until we reach that final destination. It is within the heart of heart of everybody at Xiaomi to build something that is state-of-the-art and to be the greatest company that ever is. Um, now I'd like to turn it over to engineers of Xiaomi who will explain to you what it took them to develop Mix Alpha. So let's take a look at this video. Well, guys, I kind of
just now I checked my WeChat and I received a lot of uh, congratulations from my friends. Well, thank you all very much for your recognition. In fact, uh, developing a concept itself uh, is not an easy task. Rather, it requires a lot of hard work. It takes imagination, exploration, and also a lot of money, which is also very important. In fact, over the past couple of years, Xiaomi has been increasing its investment in RMB. Last year, we spent about 5.8 billion RMB, and this year, we grow, grew it by another 40 percent. I expect to see this number to exceed 10 billion RMB by next year. So, ladies and gentlemen, whether you are here or not, I I'd like for everybody to clap their hand in recognition of the hard work um, by engineers at Xiaomi. So, now we are still in the process of uh, small-scale production of uh, Mix Alpha. With the first generation, we didn't really try this, at, not at first, but uh, when, I, when we saw it was very successful, we start move, move on to scale the production, project, uh, production. but uh, now we are in the midst of uh, small-scale trial production of, with Mix Alpha, and uh, once successful, we'll try to see if we are able to uh, start a scale the production um, by the end of this year. I understand that that's a lot of uh, hard work for the engineers, but we'll try to bring it uh, to market uh, ASAP. So with, uh, in fact, uh, um, prototypes have already been made available in many of our shops, so try them out if you'd like. Uh, a concept is open like this because we, when we developed it, uh, uh, we didn't really uh, thought about uh, the hard w the, the, the profitability or retailing it something in the marketplace. Uh, so we used uh, the best elements. Uh, so, uh, so now, uh, if it's a small scale production we talk about, uh, then it was almost the 20 million. But now we believe this is the fair price for a small scale of production. This is mainly for the hardcore fans. So. so such is the 5G, uh, the, the, the 5G concept of cell phone with a surround display. So we, we uh, something that we did a lot of uh, experiment. We tried and achieved uh, dozens of uh, technological breakthroughs. And now. Once again, let's take a look at this rendering, which is on top of the volcano. And uh, these are the products that we release, uh, uh, Xiaomi TV, Mi, Mi 9 Pro, Mi UI 11, and the Mix Alpha. And now, it's around 2.30, perhaps? I'm sorry.